I'm pleased to inform this August House that President Akufuado when he launched the Ghana Commodity Trading Commodity Exchange committed that the exchange will become a new pillar of the financial system in Ghana and will promote private sector investment in West Africa. Mr. Speaker, almost um, 20 years ago, in 1990, 28 years ago in 1990, um, we launched the Ghana Stock Exchange with a market capitalization of 3 million Ghana cities. Today, Mr. Speaker, it has 41 companies listed and the market capitalization is $58 billion, equivalent more than the GDP of our country. So this small seed that the President launched in opening the commodity exchange, we should expect great things for agriculture and our farming community. It is, Mr. Speaker, the first in, in West Africa and one of the three in Africa. And we established linkages between agriculture, commodity producers, and buyers to secure competitive prices for their product, products, to assure the market quantity and quality of products, and timely settlement of trade. This is to support the government of Ghana's drive to promote agriculture through planting for food and jobs and one district, one factory. The associated warehouse receipts can also develop into a tradable security, and we are hopeful our financial system will take up that initiative. Mr. Speaker, to help manage the risk in agriculture and stimulate private sector lending to the agriculture sector, government is establishing the Ghana Incentive-Based Risk Sharing System for Agriculture Lending. An amount of 400 million Ghana cities with an additional funding of 14 million US dollars from Africa Development Bank has been set aside to operationalize GESOL in 2019. GESOL aims to provide guarantees to promote commercial bank lending to the agricultural sector. Industrialization. Mr. Speaker, our industrialization effort, efforts are aimed at adding value to our agricultural produce and natural resources, and on leveraging our competitive advantage based on our growing and increasingly educated youth. We will support the development of agro-processing, mainly through the One District, One Factory program, taking advantage Honorable members, honorable members, taking advantage, Mr. Taking advantage, Mr. Speaker, of the increased agricultural production engendered by the PFJ and RFJ. By the end of the year, a total of 79 factories in nine regions of the country will be at various stages of construction or operations under the 1D1F scheme. Many of the supported factories are processing agricultural produce in ready-to-consume forms that have previously largely been imported. In 2019, the scheme will continue to partner with private financial institutions to fund our factories, expand the geographic reach of the program. In particular, 1D1F will support feed mills and chicken processing facilities in the poultry industry. On adding value to our natural resources, our main focus will be on leveraging our huge bauxite resources to develop a comprehensive aluminum industry and also starting development of a petrochemical industry to add value to our oil and gas output. Mr. Speaker, Ghana has long produced aluminum at Valco, but at imports the alumina, the middle step between bauxite and aluminum. To remove this anomaly, Government is spearheading the establishment of the Ghana Integrated Aluminium Development Corporation. GUIDEC will identify strategic partners
for the extraction and mining of Rapoxa reserves, creating an integrated aluminium industry. Mr. Speaker, in line of this vision, VALCO will next year fully run two out of its five port lines to increase output from 40,000 to 80,000 tons of associated revenue of 160 million US dollars. This output will represent 40% utilization of the 200,000 ton per annum installed capacity of the smelter, enough to at least break even and to serve as an off-taker alumina foam the guided down the line. Government will also restructure VACO to bring in private sector participation. 